28-year-old woman by the name of Selena Hodge in South Florida received a kidney transplant, but she did it in a very uh, unconventional way. She asked for a kidney on Craigslist. So we have a local news report for you guys that I want you to watch, and then we'll discuss this a little more. The 28-year-old posted this plea online in July, looking for someone, anyone, to donate a kidney. I turned to Craigslist because I didn't know where else to turn to. We told her story first on News Channel 5. Selena received hundreds of responses, one from just miles away from her Palm Beach Gardens home. It's just amazing that somebody would actually lay down their life for a complete stranger. 23-year-old Stephanie Grant was that person who stepped in to help. That's, That's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. 23-year-old steps in, uh, you know, turns out lives close by and is going to volunteer and, and gave the kidney. I, I, I'm blown away by that. Uh, and the fact that it happened on Craigslist is even crazier. It is crazy. I mean, we've talked about how if women ask for anything on a Craigslist, they'll get it. But usually they'll get it from a guy. Right? Yeah. And in this case, there's a, truly like a kind-hearted woman out there who wants to help out. And I, it just touches my heart. Like, my mom has kidney disease. And it, it'll eventually, well, it's going to get to that point very soon where she's going to need one, right? A transplant. And I, like, I know that if I were needed to do it, I would give her one of mine. But at the same time, like, it's something that scares the hell out of me. It's really scary. And I, don't, I would never do it for a stranger. I got to keep it real. Yeah, you know? no, I, I hear you on that. And look, this is the upside of online. You know, you hear all those stories, oh, Craigslist killer, or, you know, somebody met on Facebook and then molested, et cetera. But, you know, obviously there's the other side of that where people do incredible uh, acts of kindness. And it gives me a little bit of faith in humanity because there's people with such unbelievably large hearts out there who are willing to do that uh, in a way that I honestly can't even, almost can't fathom. I'm not that good a person. Uh, but she's amazing. By the way, just going back to the Craigslist killer story, that was a national story. I mean, you would not be able to escape that story, right? But finally, there's a positive story about Craigslist. And you know who covered it? A local news station and us. And that's it. Yeah. Like, is everybody going crazy about the Craigslist saver? Right? No one. No one. Uh, you know why? Because fear sells. It does. That's so true. they focus on the fear. Oh, my God, there's a killer, Craigslist killer. If you go on Craigslist, you're going to die, right? So local news and national news, oh my God. Nancy Grace can get out there and be like, this is crazy. Everyone should be prosecuted, right? Uh, I don't know if she actually did that, but uh, likely. Yes, very likely. <laughs> uh, but in this case, oh, you feel good? Yeah. Whatever. You're not scared enough to come back from the next commercial break.